Eli, Eli Gindy from ElderGadget.com, here with Steve Cohen, who Scott happened to, Scott Cohen, who happened to also give me a tour last year. He's amazing, and he's going to tell us all about Samsung and uh, and what is in store for us with Samsung. There's two really exciting things going on here at CS 2012 for Samsung. One is called Smart Interaction, and the second is the whole smart TV platform, the convergence, and all the stuff that's going on with that. So let's take them one thing at a time. Right. And we'll start with Smart Interaction. For years, we've known how to control the TV. It's via a remote, a clicker, or whatever you'd like to call it. Right. Uh, Samsung is changing all that this year. Yeah. Above every TV now, we have a, not every TV, but the higher end TVs will have a camera right. with a microphone. Right. And that camera and microphone is going to allow for something called smart interaction, the ability to control your TV with voice or hand gestures. Oh, that's amazing. This, I mean, uh, too many times have I been pulling the couch cushions off looking for the remote so I can catch right. the start of my program. Now all I have to do is say, hi, Samsung, power on, and the TV is going to power right up, wow. and it's going to have actually facial recognition, so it'll actually recognize that it's me powering the TV up. And it'll be able to get my preferences. It's going to, not just your preferences, but when we start talking about smart TV and apps like Skype, I want my Skype account up. I want to come home and say, hi, Samsung, power on, right. Skype mom. And I want it to Skype my mom, not my wife's mom. I might not want to talk to her today, right? right. So having facial recognition so it knows it's me is going to be something that's important. It might even be able to give you simpler menus. It's definitely going to be able to give you a simpler yeah. menu. If you're, for you, you might want a simpler menu. For somebody else, they might not. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The layouts, the wallpapers, yeah. all that will be your preferences. Yeah. Um, but things like channel up, channel down, volume up, volume down, being able to control that with your voice, not having to pick up the clicker uh, to get Best. that done. It's really going to simplify the way we control and interact with our TV. Now this really the person becomes the interface. The person becomes the interface. That's really the best way to look at it. But you know, being able to sit down on my couch and say, uh, you know, Samsung channel up, it's much better than feeling around for that remote. That brings us over to smart TV and some of the apps we just briefly touched upon. Samsung believes smart TV comprises of a few things. Apps is really the most popular one people are talking about. And yeah, you need to have a decent amount of apps to consider yourself a smart TV platform. Samsung has over 1,400 apps currently available worldwide. There is no company that even comes close to the amount of apps we have on the television platform. Really? So, yeah. So that makes us... Like Hulu, like... Uh, well, we have apps from Video On Demand, everybody right? from Hulu, Cinema Now, Vudu, Netflix. Um, Some live TV, like CNBC. Uh, yeah, like CNBC. That. There's news yeah. uh, video, uh, Discovery. So there's plenty exercise of... Exercise video. Oh, yeah. Exercise videos. There's plenty the of video on demand. demand. But it doesn't stop there. There's lifestyle stuff like Facebook, Twitter, Picasa, um, information stuff like uh, from the news agencies. We have an Associated Press ticker that you can run the news ticker across the bottom of any channel you're watching. You know, I like to be on top of the news, but I don't always want to be watching a news channel. I can now keep an eye on the news while I'm watching while my favorite sporting else. game. Sure, sure. Yeah, absolutely. You pay for this extra stuff? Some of it, yes. Some, some of it, no. yes. Some of it, no. For example, the Netflix app is a free app. However, you do have to pay Netflix for the service. Right. Um, Same thing with Hulu if you want Hulu Plus. Exactly. Right. If you want Hulu Plus, you can download the app for free. Hulu Plus costs money. However, there are some apps that will end up costing you some money to download that app to the TV, yeah. such as some games like Tetris or Pac-Man or Monopoly. Angry Birds. Angry Birds. We haven't released yet, so uh, I'm not sure, but it is coming. The most popular app on the app platform as far as games is Angry Birds. Coming to Samsung Smart Platform, really, it's a big statement. Yeah. What most customers have thought of smart up to this point is the yeah. smartphone, yeah. and everyone remembers that day where they were like, ah, I don't think I need a smartphone. Right. But now that you have one, you're on Facebook all day, you're tweeting, right. you're doing all this stuff. And it replaces and, about 20 other things. Right, and now we have that same platform on the TV. Oh, really? So, well, the smart platform with apps. Oh. But here's the deal. When you're going to have 1,400 apps, you have a lot of information. But unless it's organized or some way in a category, it's not so smart. Right. So Samsung has this feature here called Search All. Oh. Now, what it is, is it's a search bar, and what it'll do for you is search every one of the apps we have. Let me give you an example. Let's say I search for Toy Story. What it's going to come back and tell me is that Toy Story is available. It's a movie. It's available. And also a soundtrack. Right, right. But what we're going to get is that it's a movie. Uh, and if I'd like to watch it, it'll tell me it's available on what video on demand? Netflix, Hulu, Voodoo, where it's available, price and resolution. So if I wanted to watch Toy Story, all I needed to know is how to type in the search bar. I didn't have to check TV Guide, go from app Will to app. Will it find it on your own computer if you have it there too? Thanks for mentioning that. <laughs> in addition to searching the video on demand apps, 
Yeah. We'll check all your connected devices, so if you do have a copy of Toy Story on your hard drive on your computer, it'll find it there. If you have a picture on your cell phone that's connected to your TV yeah. called Toy Story, guess what? It'll return that. Will it check your Facebook account, for example? It will. It also <laughs> checks Facebook, and you'd find the Toy Story movie page, right. which you may want to become a fan of so that you, you get more information about the movie Toy Story. In addition, we do a web browser search uh, so that if you're really looking to find out who the actors were or something of that nature, this single search brings it all. You have music called um, uh, Toy Story, it's going to bring that up. But most, uh, one of the things I like... In the future, you'll be able to actually say, tell me everything about Toy Story. And it'll all come up right. just talking uh, to you. Exactly. The vocal <laughs> commands from Smart Interaction will control that in the future. But also, YouTube. A lot of times when people are looking for a movie, it's not that they want to watch the whole movie. Maybe you have some friends over and you just want to watch that one clip, whether it be a funny clip, a well-acted clip. And a lot of times, those will just show right up on YouTube. You can get to it very quick. With a search bar, you really can watch what you want to watch when you want to watch it or access information about that you know sometimes you'll watch a movie call it a Tom Cruise movie and you're really wowed I've been wowed by Tom Cruise's performance just not sure what other movies he's done typing Tom Cruise here will bring up a list of every movie he's ever done and now it'll tell you where to find it to watch it resolution and price really allowing you to you know watch things that you wouldn't have normally watched and really watch what you want when you want to watch it in so this addition is very similar to uh, what, what Mike Microsoft is doing is the Windows 8. Um, where the same kind of this idea of, yeah, of, of stuff like searching, that, but not on a TV. Right. On a TV. This is one of the major advantages. A lot of companies, Microsoft's got a smart platform for a phone. Obviously, we know about Android, we know about Apple, but this is right now the smart TV platform, uh, you know, for TV, a smart platform for TV instead instead of it's mobile. Amazing. But you got to remember something about Samsung. We're not just a TV company. We make plenty of mobile devices, like this tablet that I just took out of my so pocket. going to work on there. Well, it's going to things will work seamlessly. For example, I could download the Samsung remote app here and control the TV. I could use this as a keyboard to type into the search bar. Uh, I could take pictures, music, and movies off here and put them up here. Stream them. Stream them. That's DNLA. Yeah, through okay. DLNA. DLNA at Samsung is called All Share. And in 2011, All Share was only in the home over your home Wi-Fi network, meaning if this and the TV were on the same home Wi-Fi network, I'd be able to stream what I have here to there. Which is the limitation of Apple. TV. That was the limitation in 2011 for Samsung, but in 2012, Samsung is moving to All Share Play, where if I was at your house and you had a Samsung TV, I would be able to take my tablet, find my computer at home, pull a copy of Toy Story off, watch it here, watch it on your TV, but now I have complete control of my content. Imagine I took a picture of you right now here, threw it up on the cloud, and we can download it back at the East Coast right now. I dreamed about this six years ago. So what I think this is really going to do is it's going to help families out. You know, I just moved to Florida. My grandma's down there. Lots of grandparents are down there. But think about it. My brother could take pictures of his kids in New Jersey, instantly upload them to the cloud, and me and grandma down in Florida could be downloading them to my 65-inch TV immediately. So watch is, them together. Watch them together. This is going to bring the whole family together. Some of the other things that Samsung has is signature services on our smart platform, and one of them is family story. It's like a mini enclosed Facebook for a family and you know some people might say it sounds redundant but families have young kids that you might not want on Facebook or elderly that are not familiar with all this stuff on Facebook so family story is going to allow you know kids to upload pictures that grandma can see across the country or for you to tweet out or get the message out to the family to come these home. These are things that don't go out on the internet. This is right. just private to the Self family. Self-contained in the family That's story. Amazing. Yeah yeah so we're really looking to although have your content across platform we're still looking to bring the family all together at the end of the day right. so that everyone can share that content. Yeah. So let's say that uh, that grandma walks up to the TV. I'm not saying right this moment, but grandma walks up to the TV and recognizes her. Correct. Right? It pulls her content and puts it on the TV, the latest pictures of the kids or whatever it might be. Right. Or it all of a sudden gives her something where she can say, I want to talk to my son Bobby. So all of a sudden now it will ring Bobby over a chat or over some over other a program. Chat. Correct. You yeah. can talk to them, or you can play. You can play uh, your favorite uh, recorded video on this. Correct. Right. Or you can videos. find something from some on-demand service and play that. You all basically by talking to it. Right. You could. My brother could, My brother could basically come home from his son's soccer game, give a phone call, Grandma. I just put the kids' soccer 
soccer game on the cloud, and she could sit and spend an hour watching her grandkids' soccer game. Can we I do think it that's during pricey. the soccer game? Uh, I don't. Uh, maybe in the future, yeah. live. It's really yeah. going to depend on connection speeds, but uh, for the most part, being able to get the content across the country, or across the world, is something that hasn't been done before. And with Samsung and the power of having Samsung digital camera, Samsung phone, Samsung tablet, Samsung right. computer, right. we have the whole suite, the whole package, so that whether you're on your computer, you're on your TV, or you're on the road, you're going to be able to access all of your content. Right. One of my favorite features, I'm on the road all the time, Samsung has our media hub where I can uh, download episodes of my favorite shows or movies. Right. If I downloaded, let's say, Toy Story, and I was watching right. on the plane, I get down to where I'm supposed to be, I'm watching in the cab, right. when I get home, I turn my TV on, open up the Media Hub app, and I'm picked up on Toy Story right where I left off. Right, and you don't need an external device to plug in. No, no external device at all, because it's all going to happen on the cloud. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just, this is just amazing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, everything we do here at Samsung, extreme attention to detail. You know, we've mentioned Netflix a lot of times. The, the, the slot right over here is uh, your video. Right. And we have his video recommendations, because when you start typing in the search bar, we're going to start becoming familiar with your habits. Maybe you like romantic comedies, maybe you like action movies. So we're going to start being able to give you recommendations based on that. Which, from your content. From your content. Right. Um, uh, basically telling you what movies that you might want to stream right. from Netflix in the future. Right. But one of the cool things that we have, and most video on demand uh, companies have a computer that says, if you watch this movie, you'll probably like right. this. Right. But since we have your Facebook account in here, right. we know who your friends are. So we can give you video recommendations off their Facebook uh, pages. Right. You could say a trusted friend. and yeah. I can go to from friends, and if we were friends on Facebook, you'd see I recommend every Quentin Tarantino movie, a lot of the superhero movies, and then you can watch it. And what's great about that is when I finish watching a movie, I usually want to talk about it with someone. Yeah. And when Netflix's supercomputer recommended the movie, I don't know who else watched it. Right. When I take it off my Facebook friends list recommendation, I right. call that person right after the movie and say, you know, hey, hey, mom, I just saw that movie you had on your Facebook. This it's awesome. Great. This is great. Will it do it with something other than media? Like what? For example, let's say I wanted to find a camera. Could it recognize what I bought? The software probably could, but it's not a it's not um, media. It's not if, if it's DLNA, if your camera's Wi-Fi and DLNA, it'll be able to find it. Samsung Wi-Fi cameras will have all share play built right in. So they, yeah, so our cameras will have the ability to take pictures, get them up onto the web, up onto the cloud, and then have you downloaded at your TV. Or on your smartphone. Or on your smartphone. Well, we got one even better. Check this out. Since our Wi-Fi camera requires the use of Wi-Fi, and when I'm watching my nephew soccer game out in a big field, I don't always have Wi-Fi, as you can right, imagine. Right. We're going to have a feature where when you click that picture, it automatically, via Bluetooth, sends it to your phone, so you can pick your phone up, open it up, and share with Facebook or friends or whoever right. you want to. Right. We reviewed something called an iFi recently, which is a, uh, it's an SDHD card, which does the same thing. Right. But right. to have it in the camera is one less step you have to go through exactly. to make it happen. And even, yeah. even at cameras, there's no stopping Samsung and the ability of our smart platform. What we now have with our smart camera is an app for our tablet or phone, right. which is called the Viewfinder app. What that allows you to do is set the camera remotely. Maybe we want to be in a group picture. I put the camera down, we get in front, I open up my phone, I go, okay, we're zoom in, or you like the zoom here, we like this, click, and the picture's on taken. The camera? Yeah, yeah, but I got one better. Maybe your kid's in a dance recital, you showed up a little late, you didn't get a good seat, but you want the good pictures. Walk up to the front, put the camera down, go back to the back row, open up the Viewfinder, you got your zoom, you got close-up pictures. The guy in the third row is not going to understand how okay. you got better now pictures don't than even him. You can pan the camera. Too. You can't pan it, but you can zoom in and out. And and focus on facial recognition. Yeah, absolutely. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, who has to learn to do anything anymore? Isn't that the Samsung's point? going to take care of everything for okay. you. Just buy the product, okay. put it in your pocket, so here's and we're good to go. Here's a question I have. If I know how to use the TV, is it gonna, am I now going to know how to use the phone and know how to use the tablet and know how to use the computer? Uh, the operating systems are similar, and we are working towards a unified operating system. Conceptually, yeah. Well, yeah. you are working towards that. A unified operating system, absolutely. For all, for all of them? For all platforms, yeah. That's amazing. We want the menus to be the same. Uh, one of the biggest things, obviously, people are sharing these days are pictures. Right. And whether it's a picture on my tablet or my phone right now, when I tap the picture, the menu system that comes up as far as where I'm going to share it right. is the same. Right. And we are working towards unified. 
to five. Oh, oh, it is the same with pictures? When I open up a picture here or here on my Android devices, okay, it's so going to be the same. Okay, so that's good to know because yeah. that's what, because I think that's really important because, mm -hmm. I see, the way I look at it is people don't want to learn a new, uh, people don't want to learn new smartphones, but everybody wants to watch TV. Right. So people will want to learn TV once they, if they, if they learn how to use the TV and now all of a sudden they can use the computer and the smartphone and the tablet. Right. The barrier to, you know, the barrier and the fear is gone. Well, we, we feel that we're removing the barrier. This is some very cool technology we're talking well, about. This is very simple. And it's as you so can see, intuitive. typing in a search bar uh, right down here on the left. If you want to pan over to the left over there, someone's actually operating a smart TV now. And you can see it's very simple. Big icons clearly telling you what's going on. So we have 1,400 apps and what we are. Uh, big, the big icons. Big icons, you can control icons. the size. You can control which icons actually show up here. This here is social TV. Facebook has become a big thing. What Samsung allows you to do. Yeah, what is social TV? Social TV allows you to put Facebook up on one third of the TV while you watch live TV over here. This allows me to watch the Giants game in Florida and chat with my brother who's watching the Giants game in New Jersey while the game is going. It's like a live chat while we're watching the same program. It's like we're watching together. Can you put something um, other than Facebook up on the other half? Uh, right now we're working with another app uh, which is uh, Instant Chat. What's great about the chat is you don't necessarily need a computer to be coming off a, a tablet or a TV or anywhere. So currently two that I know of. You also have Twitter and Google Plus up on there as well. So there's actually quite a few that you'll be able to wow. split the TV in two and do two things at once. Wow. My name is Scott Cohen. Thanks for spending time with us at CES 2012 in the Samsung booth. Eli Gindy from ElderGadget.com. You can read more about this interview. You can read more about Samsung on the ElderGadget.com site.